Noah, first and foremost, welcome to Miami. I, I'm sure getting drafted in the first round, not only very cool, but a huge weight lifted off your shoulders. What's this last 12, 24 hours been like for you? It's been surreal. Uh, this is something um, I've dreamed about for a very long time. It's something I, I spoke into my life um, a couple of years ago. And so it's just, it was surreal to, to see it happen. Or just to see that phone call experience that time with my family. Uh, just, just a moment I'm going to cherish forever. Yeah, take me a moment with the phone call because uh, we saw your agent in the background, your family, everyone going nuts when when you guys found out it was Miami. Did you recognize the number that was calling? Oh, the thing is, I even see the number. My my agent saw it. He's from Miami. That's why he was screaming like that. <laughs> so he saw he saw the number. He said, oh, he's going to Miami before I even answer the phone. And so that's how I knew who it was. So I answered the phone. And um, just, just to hear that conversation, uh, my parents were screaming, screaming loud. And so, I um, mean, just like I said before, it, it was a real moment. And it's something I'm, I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And so, I just only the first step. And so, I'm just ready, ready to get to work from here. That's very cool, man. Now, uh, in sports, we talk about players who have the clutch gene. And you mentioned your parents there. And I like to think of you as having the fast gene when you have two parents who are uh, Olympic athletes. Tell me about how influential they were. Uh, in your journey as a football player? Uh, they were very influential. Um, even though they didn't play football, um, they, was, they still reached the highest level um, of their tra of their sport um, in, in their field. Um, my mom was a, won a whole bronze medal um, out of it. And so um, they, they, they know what it takes to, to get to the top level of your profession. And so that's something I kind of uh, I I kind of grew into and I knew. Um, I just followed the footsteps. I listened to what they was telling me, even if I didn't want to at times. Um, it was going to get me to where I am now. And so it's, it's just crazy to see how far I've come. I've been playing this for two years. Um, and it's just crazy what, um, what, what, what's next for me. And so I'm just ready to, to, to become that player and show, show the player I am um, in, in, in a, few, a few months here. So. Now tell me a little bit about your track career. So if I'm not mistaken, you did the 100 meters, the long jump, and the triple jump, correct? Yep. So in the long jump, you jumped 23 feet. Did you ever lose uh, in a long jump competition? Uh, my PR is actually 25-3. I did that oh, in college. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Long, no, 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 you good, you good, you good. <laughs> in college, in, in high school, my PR was 24-8, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, high school, honestly, I'm not being cocky. I just didn't lose um, like like that. And it's not me being cocky. I, I put the work in. Um, nobody was doing what I was doing uh, with my dad. Um, nobody was doing that. So I knew every track meet, if you ask anybody who competed with me, um, I just kept the same face. Didn't really talk because I knew they were, you're not going to touch me just because of the work I put in outside of it. So that's where my confidence comes from. So it doesn't come from anywhere else. Uh, I don't talk a lot, uh, but if I do, uh, I'm going to back it up every single time. And so um, because I know the work I put in and the effort I put into this and my craft. And so the track, high school, I didn't lose a lot. Now college, college was a different ball game because I didn't, I couldn't work um, like I did in high school because of football. So I, uh, when I competed, I, yes, I was still doing good and competing with the best. They had all year to train, and I didn't. I, I just I had like maybe a couple of weeks, maybe. And so um, track season was just fun for me. It wasn't something I really expected. Uh, nothing I really I didn't get mad at uh, how I was doing because maybe I did, but I did. I, could, I didn't put the work in. Um, I couldn't put the work in because of football, so I couldn't really be mad at myself. So I just did, went out there, did the best that I could, and uh, compete for my team, and so. Um, I'm just uh, I'm blessed for, that they let me do that um, as, as a two sport athlete. And so now that you're not going to touch me uh, attitude and confidence when we were talking to you yesterday, it seemed like that really showed when you made the transition from a wide receiver to corner being sort of this press guy who likes to get up in, in wide receivers faces. Uh, what do you love about making that switch and playing quarter be, getting to be sort of the hitter ra rather, you know, the hammer rather than the nail? Um. I really feel like for me, it, it allowed me to show um, every single trait I have. Um, yes, wide receiver was great and all that, but I don't think every a lot of people knew how um, how explosive or how um, or talented I really am, and all the things I have in me um, that I was born with, just just genes wise, just it was nothing. Uh, was, I was just given to me uh, from birth, and so I don't really feel like a lot of people just knew. Um, especially, I feel like corner kind of shows the type of person you are um, if you play it. And so either um, you're going to be a coward or you're going to get in somebody's face. And so that's something I had to face up and, and I had to do. And it really showed me who I was as a person as well. And that's why I love it so much. Um, just, just to be out there by yourself on an island 
uh, and, and know, even though it is a team sport, but to know that your job is, um, is probably one of the most criticized jobs in, in, in the sport. Um, if you don't take it, if you don't take it personal, if you don't take it, um, if you don't take it serious. And so um, that's why I focus on this so much because I know one play and game can be over with for my position. And so um, this is something I prepared for my whole entire life, like I said before. And so I'm um, just blessed. Being one of the players in the first round, a record, and as you mentioned, doing it as a corner, going up against the best athletes in the country at the college level. How does that translate for you um, coming into the pros, now getting to play alongside Byron Jones and Xavier Howard, two of the best doing it right now in the NFL? Um, yes, like you said, those are two of the best that's doing it right now in this sport, and it's crazy. I, I, um, I always watch film on them, um, literally always, and I know they don't know that, but uh, just to get drafted to a team um, that has those two type of players, um, that's just something I, um, I could, that's just something I couldn't walk into a better situation. Um, and so I'm, I'm just ready to learn from them, ready uh, to learn the tricks they have, and ready to learn the things they do uh, to separate themselves as well and incorporate that with my life. And and uh, I just want us all to to work together, and I can't wait. I know I Chris Greer and and Brian Flores. They only really met with you once. They kind of held this pick close to the vest, and they said you were the best player available on their board, and that's why they took you. I know you haven't been able to meet with them a lot, do a lot of visits or anything like that, but what are you looking forward to most when you get to come down here to Miami and South Florida? Um, I'm just ready to get to work. Um, it didn't. Um, I'm, that's, just, that's just what it is to me. Um, this is this is a business to me, and I know, um, I know how this is. And so um, I'm going to take this like I took everything else in my life. Um, I'm just going to ready to get to work. I'm not really going to talk a lot. going to keep my head down and, and earn my respect the right way. And uh, I'm just ready. Not, not, uh, not one trip to the beach? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple. Maybe. Um, I'm probably incorporated with some workouts, maybe. I'm just probably not going to take a – I don't really go to the beach like that. I never really got the chance to do that growing up just because I was so invested in, in track and stuff like that. And so um, – Anytime I've gone to the beach, it's been to work out. It's kind of crazy. But uh, uh, so maybe I get to chill out a little bit. We'll see. All right. Well, we got plenty of beaches here. So you have plenty of open area to work out once all this stuff is over. Noah, congrats, man. Welcome to South Florida. Uh, look Thank forward you. to meeting and working with you in person. Thank you.